welcome. So this is kind of vlogmas day one, but I'm not vlogging. I'm not a vlogger. I've decided to challenge myself and do 24 days of house updates. The aim is to bring you some really useful videos to help you with your first house journey and also to inspire you as well. So if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe because there's 24 videos coming very soon, one every single day for you to keep up to date with. Today, it's the 1st of December and how could I not put up my Christmas tree? I have not got any Christmas decorations up yet and this is the perfect opportunity. But not only am I gonna be putting up my Christmas tree, I'm also gonna be giving you some tips on how to decorate your first house for Christmas. I'll be cutting back and forth to decorating the tree and then also stopping to give you some tips as well. So hope you enjoy the video. Please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. So my first tip might actually be a bit of a controversial one and it's all to do with getting a fake Christmas tree. So that is controversial in itself, whether to get a fake or a real tree. But for a first time buyer, I, I actually bought our fake tree. This is the first fake tree I've ever had. And the reason I did it was for money saving purposes. So having a fake tree just means that every year you're not having to spend money on a new Christmas tree for starters. And also you've got everything to just kind of like build upon rather than having to start again. So this was a super cheap cost of like, I wouldn't say it was cheap, but it was like a cost effective way of doing it. It came actually in a set and I can't find any of the sets this year, but it's there's still loads of offers available to be able to pick up your tree as well. So don't feel pressured to get a new tree. I think having a tree that you then don't have to spend any more money on is a really good way of saving money every Christmas because Christmas in itself is very expensive. So any way that you can save money is always helpful. Okay, so we've now got something that resembles a tree and you can spend a little bit of time just going through like with a fake tree when they pa get packaged up every year. The, um, they can get kind of squashed and you just have to make sure that you're kind of dressing them as nicely as possible. And if you've got uh, one side that looks a bit more full, they should be equal, but if, it, if you do find you've got one side that's a bit more full, then obviously just turn that so that's the side that's facing out of the room. And that actually goes whether it's a fake tree or a real tree, you may find that actually one side just looks better. So always angle that out to the room. Next up is the lights. So before you've even like started putting up your tree, you need to definitely make sure that wherever you are, if you haven't, if you've got battery lights then you're fine, but if you've got lights that have to be plugged into the mains, then you need to make sure you'll buy a plug socket. It's always helpful. So these are 100 warm white LED lights. Again, we reuse these every year and we actually have battery lights, even though we are by a plug socket, but let's just test. Yes, they're still working, which is always good. I think also just at this point, I think it's really easy to get carried away with costs of Christmas and wanting your house and your tree to look absolutely pristine and perfect. Maybe like something that you've seen on either Instagram or Pinterest or something like that and want to spend loads and loads of money. But you know, if you've just bought your first house, that's not always gonna be the most easiest or it might not even be possible because buying a house is expensive. So just kind of like pace yourself, I would say as well, to make sure that, you know, this is just your first Christmas in your house. And actually there's plenty of time to save throughout the years and just buy individual baubles, for example, as you go and you don't have to get everything the first year. So that's really important to know. Be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling. to save money is to actually buy your Christmas decorations and baubles in multi-packs and you can get some really really good deals and it's generally like the more full your tree is the more expensive it looks obviously don't just kind of throw everything at it but you know you do want a nice full tree so invest into multi-packs which is a much cheaper way of buying them 
and variate the size as well and that will kind of give the tree a little bit more kind of texture and more to it than just you know standardized massive baubles or tiny ones. I'm now going to go in with some tiny baubles to kind of fill the gaps because you can see it's still looking a little bit gappy. Um, so I'm going to use these, obviously these are £3 for 36 so this is a, a bargain, but you can pick these up, you can even pick these up in Poundland as well, so you know just go around and you don't have to have everything perfect as soon as you put your tree up, you can kind of put your tree up and see what you need and then you know go bargain hunting really. The other good thing is to put a ribbon as well, so you can wrap the ribbon round and that makes the tree look more full as well. So. There's a couple of ways that you can kind of cheat it and, you know, make your tree look really expensive um, and, you know, really plush and luxury and actually hasn't cost you that much at all. So there are still a few finishing touches that I want to do to my tree. I actually don't have anything at the top right now. That is coming in the post. It was meant to be here. Uh, when was it? Friday? No. Oh, the weekend. Saturday. It was meant to be here Saturday and... It is now Tuesday and it's still not here, so I'm hoping it will arrive tomorrow, maybe the next day. Um, anyway, yeah, so I've got a, uh, a star tree topper on the way and I definitely do want to get some ribbon and just really fill the tree. I do have to say I do love our baubles though. I love all the different tones of like the champagnes and bronzes and some silvers and that really reflects the kind of atmosphere of this room as well so I do love our baubles and decorations but again as I said you can add to it and even change up for the year if that's what you want to do. So this year apart from my Christmas tree I'm also putting up a garland upstairs over our small kind of side table on our landing and I also have a uh, wreath which is a star again I think there's a bit of a star theme going on. I, I did buy a lot of star decorations. I also have some star lights outside. So, you know, there's other things that you can be doing. I'm not gonna show you the front of my house because security reasons, but I will insert a clip of what my finished wreath looks, not wreath, finished garland looks like upstairs. And, and just in terms of places that you can get some really good decorations, I did say Poundland for God of Baubles, but HomeSense is always a great place. They also have some really nice like table decorations and ornaments and stuff for Christmas. So definitely be going into HomeSense if you're nearby and checking those out. Most of my decorations here actually are from Marks and Spencers. There are obviously John Lewis um, and various other places. I've invested a little bit this year on my wreath upstairs and bought a few white company decorations, but I know a fact that I do not have enough decorations to fill it because this is a new edition. Um, so I'm going to be kind of purchasing a few things maybe closer to Christmas, see if there's any kind of sales that come up. I didn't get any in Black Friday unfortunately so you know it's just a case of buying as you go. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. This is the first day of my 24 day challenge and I really hope that you find the videos useful and please do follow along if you're not already subscribed. So after I've done my wreath, I'm gonna go and do the classic cliche thing of unwinding and watching a Christmas film or something on Netflix. So make sure you get into the Christmas spirit as well and we're in December now, so lots of videos to come. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.